Hello, I'm Laura Robinson, Technology Specialist with Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. Data quality is a concern of all CRM system administrators and CRM users. After all, the quality of a system depends on the data contained in it. In today's session, I will demonstrate the data duplication capabilities in CRM Online. The three topics we'll cover today are configuring duplicate detection settings, creating and editing duplicate rules, and cleaning data with duplicate detection jobs. To configure duplicate detection settings, go to Settings, then Data Management, then Duplication Detection Settings. You want to make sure that the Enable Duplicate Detection checkbox is checked, and from there you have three options. You can detect duplicates when a record is created or updated, when you go from offline to online, or during data import. In this scenario, we want to keep all three checked and click OK. After you have configured your duplicate detection settings, you then want to create the rules that your organization will use to detect duplicates in records. The next topic I will demonstrate is how to create and edit duplicate rules. To create a new duplicate detection rule, go back to Settings, Data Management, and click Duplicate Detection Rules. You'll see that I already have three rules in my system. I have a rule for accounts with the same email address that will look for an account matching to another account. I have contacts with the same email address matching contact to contact. And I have leads with the same email address matching lead to lead. In this scenario, I want to match a lead to a contact based on email address. To do so, I create a new Duplicate Detection Rule by clicking New. And first I enter in the name of the rule. I can enter a description if I want. And then I select my base record type. In this case I want to select Lead and I want to match it to contact. As you can see, there are a lot of different combinations that you can create here, depending on what your duplicate detection needs are. I can then select whether or not it's case sensitive. In this situation, I will leave that blank. And then I select the base record attribute that I want to match to the matching record attribute. So what in lead do I want to match to contact? I select email address for the lead and email address for the contact. The next step is selecting your criteria. I have the option of doing an exact match on the email address, the same first characters, or the same last characters. In this situation, I want to do an exact match, but if I wanted to, I could also do a match on the last characters. For example, if I thought that different leads might match contacts based on at contoso.com, for example. But because an email address is fairly unique, I'll do an exact match. I click Save and Close, and it generates my new duplicate detection rule. You'll notice that I have a status reason of unpublished or published, and I have one rule published right now. To make this rule active, I want to publish the rule. So I'll highlight the leads matching contacts by email, and I'll click Publish. This activates my new duplicate detection rule to match leads against contacts by email address. Now that we've created a contact duplicate detection rule, let's put it to the test. I click Sales, My Active Contacts, and click New to create a new contact. I have this person's email address, but I don't know their last name, so I'll type in Adrian D and the email address adrian at hotmail.com and click save. When I click save, rather than saving the record, I have a dialog box that opens up that tells me a potential duplicate has been detected. It lists out what the potential record is and I can see here that Adrian is already in my system at adrian at hotmail.com 
And in this case, I can either deactivate this record, if it's an old record. I can save my new record anyway, which I don't want to do. So I'll click Cancel. And I'll cancel out of creating this new record. So it prevents me from creating the duplicate. The last topic I'd like to demonstrate is how to clean data with duplicate detection jobs. Although duplicate detection rules prevent me from creating duplicate records, what about those records that are already created by accident or by change of ownership of records? In this case, I want to clean up my data with a duplicate detection job. I go to Settings, Data Management, Duplicate Detection Jobs, and I click New. It brings up a dialog box for my duplicate detection wizard. I click Next. And I want to run this on contacts. But not only all contacts, I want to run it on active contacts. So I select status equals active. And I want it to run on all of my contacts. So I select owner equals current user, which is me. I click next. And I have the option of delaying the start time of this job, which I want to run right now. And I also have the option of scheduling this job. In this case, I'll click run this job after every 90 days, just so I have a cleanup job going on. I can also have it send an email notification to me when the job's finished. And if I wanted to, I could notify another user. Click Next, and then click Finish. If I refresh my screen, you'll see I have a new duplicate detection job that has succeeded. To view the duplicates that were just detected by this job, I can open up the job itself and view the duplicates. As you can see, it's found one potential duplicate record. And you can see here that the email addresses for these two records are the same. In this case, I can do a couple different things. I can merge these two records, either automatically or by selecting a master. If I select a master, I can run through all the different fields that are populated and pick and choose which fields I want to keep when the record merges. Because these look like two very distinct records, I do not want to merge them, and I'll click Cancel. Instead, I can either I can also open up one of these records and simply change the email address. Once I have Joe's record open, I've changed his email address so he no longer shows up as a duplicate. Now that I have all my contacts cleaned and I have a rule published so it'll detect any future contact duplicates, I'm all set. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you have a wonderful day.